<laughs> so I guess we're not going this way. Don't turn our house upside down. Constant reminder of don't park your RV at night. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoying Enjoy the, the journey. journey life. So long to the Grand Canyon. Hi, Grand Canyon. It was lovely. We're even charging batteries with solar right now by the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> She told me where to go to park for free tonight. Let's just go hit the dump station now. Well, at the Lee's Ferry RV, well, campground, it's not just RV. At the dump station, dumping and getting uh, some fresh water. And I saw this kind of recommended, and it's the first time I got to use it. Uh, I think it's like RV water buddy or something and a couple of clamps because it's not a regular spigot. So it's the first time I've had to do something like this and it seems to be working pretty good. Got to hang on to it. It kind of shot out of there the first couple times. So <laughs> I'll put a link down to what it is down below so you can get one yourself. It wasn't very expensive. Look at that thing, all full of water there. <laughs> it must be able to handle the pressure. This was not the plan right here. They got quite a culvert here trying to get to our free camp spot over there. So we're gonna have to take this really carefully and Shree's gonna spot the kayaks and the jacks for me. So I'm gonna take it slow. Just keep an eye on the jacks and the kayaks. Well, the jacks are gonna go down, no? Maybe not. It's going to get better here. Okay. So All let's right. see. Don't turn our house upside down. Okay, kayaks are touching. They're scr they're digging. They're digging in. Okay. Oh, jeez.
<laughs> so I guess we're not going this way. <laughs> Look at that. Let's just park right there. We, we kind of look level. <laughs> Why not? It's every night. Well, I was hoping to find one of the good spots, but we'll see what happens here. Well, we can either take, you know, something we've seen along here or go There's back only out. one option. And it's getting dark. Yeah, I mean, there's those spots along the road, but then we're right on the road. Ah, yeah, this will work. Yeah, there's even a fire pit. So, I guess this is our spot. First time using four wheel drive, that's a little sketch. Holy cow. That is some soft sand right there. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's one of those nights. Trying to maneuver a uh, free spot at night, not level, <laughs> disconnecting. <laughs> Look how close I am right there. Gotta be really careful here. So, yeah, fun. Wow, that was a challenge coming in here last night. Uh, the constant reminder of don't park your RV at night. It's a beautiful spot. Look at this. Oh my gosh, all the way around. So this is technically our third boondocking spot with the solar almost straight down on us right now. So that's cool. So in case the video didn't turn out very well from last night, you can see right here where I almost got the truck stuck. I had to put it in four wheel drive for the very first time to get out of that loose sand right there. Yeah, those dually tires were starting to sink in pretty good. <laughs> kind of the cool thing over here to check out. We are next to a weather station <laughs> right here. So that's a first. Well, I thought it was a weather station, but actually it's an experimental garden array or Sega for short. And I guess they're trying to figure out what the uh, impact of uh, climate is on the plant life and animal life here. So that's kind of cool. It looked like a weather station. <laughs> Yeah, so just a quick one night stay here at Soap Creek Dispersed Camping near Lee's Ferry in Northern Arizona. And you can actually find this on the Dirt app as well uh, if you wanna know exactly where we are. 
By the way, uh, this is something we've been offering for a little bit now, but if you want the free 90 day trial to the Dirt app, we'll have a link down in the description, 90 days. That'll like get you through a good chunk of the camping season to decide if you like it. So check out the dirt. I think we're just gonna move over to the national park over here and pay like $10 a night for a night or two and check that out. It's beautiful over at Lee's Ferry. And one thing I did last night in the dark and kind of a poor job with it is I used our leveling boards to get it as level as possible manually so that the Lippert auto leveling system can do its job. I guess that's what's recommended. For those of you that have one of these systems, the Lippert automatic leveling system, I think it's called Level Up. You know, what do you guys do? Let us know in the comments. And actually, I uh, it looks like I destroyed one of our leveling boards right there. That looks like firewood now. <laughs> and in a hurry and at night, I'm coming off <laughs> of that one right there. I gotta take a left here, go to the water tower for the dump station. Turn right instead of left. Okay. Oh shoot, I guess I'm doing this wrong. There's another RVer back there, so there's a way they got in. It's just tight to get open. They probably did it like that on purpose. On the wrong side of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? I don't know if you're going to be able to back up. Ugh. I'm probably getting terrible footage here. Oh, geez. <laughs>